Have you ever wished you had access to the right tool at the right time? What about having access to multiple tools and more than one of a kind that you can use simultaneously to get your customized job done without any unnecessary delays or complications? Imagine having all of these tools in a single toolbox. In the world of mainframe REST API services, CA Brightside API Mediation Layer is, in fact, this very toolbox meeting the needs of today's business environment. The CA Brightside API Mediation Layer is a single access point to REST APIs that offers enterprise, cloud-like capabilities such as high availability of services, scalability, dynamic service registration, and API documentation. With this open source platform, you can access and contribute new APIs to meet the needs of the development community and API end users. This introduction will cover the following, a walkthrough of the gateway screen landing page, startup through the login screen, a look at the dashboard view of API services with service titles, and finally, a short tour of the contents of the API service screen, including API endpoints, parameters, and API documentation. There are three components of the CA Brightside API mediation layer, the gateway, the dynamic discovery service, and the API catalog. Let's begin with the gateway landing page. Your system administrator will provide you with the URL of this landing page. This is the entry point to all services running on the API mediation layer. On this landing page, you are presented with two status notifications, the status of the API catalog and the number of discovery service instances that are currently running. Click the API catalog link to view the login page to the API catalog. Note that if you know the URL of the catalog, you can proceed directly to the login page. Enter your username and password and click Sign In to open the dashboard. The dashboard presents a high-level view of all API microservices running behind the gateway. You can configure your API microservice so that all related services are grouped within a single tile ID. When the API microservices are discovered by the discovery service and announced to the API catalog, they are then grouped together within the same tile. Each tile displays the API service title, a high-level description of the service, and the status of the service indicating if the API service is running, partially running, or if no services are running but have been discovered by the discovery service. Use the search feature to search for a title or description of an API. For example, enter file master to return all API services group under the CA file master plus API tile. Clicking on a tile presents you with all of the instances of that service ID that are running, each service ID instance represented on a separate tab. This lets you know if there are multiple instances of your API service currently available. Multiple API service instances that are running are grouped under a single tile in the API catalog. If at least one instance of a service is running, the title is displayed in black. If no instances of the API service are running, but this service was previously announced to the catalog, the title is displayed in red along with a notification that the API service is not running. Descriptive information about an API that is running includes the title, the version of the documentation, and the base URL, which serves as the gateway. By linking services to a single gateway base URL, it is now possible to access an API microservice running in a different sysplex or port by simply providing the base URL and routing information. Click the link to Swagger Open API JSON document to view API documentation in JSON format. You can also view Swagger API documentation in graphical form. 
This allows you to see the available endpoints of an API service. Click on any specific endpoint to view detailed information about the parameters and responses of your selected endpoint. Under the Parameters heading, you can see if the parameter is required to make use of this endpoint, the parameter data type, and a brief description of the parameter. If the parameter is not a primitive type, such as a string, number, or boolean, a model of the parameter is displayed along with an example value. Under the Responses heading, you can see the response's status codes and the corresponding description of the response, as well as the model of the response and an example value of the response if applicable. This detailed information helps you format a request to an API services endpoints and tells you the structure of the data that you receive in the endpoint response. With CA Brightside API Mediation Layer, you now have everything you need to interact with API services registered in the API Mediation Layer ecosystem. For more information about CA Brightside API Mediation Layer, go to docops.ca.com.